I'm Ken Tucker, and I'm in favor of revenge on TV and in life. The show stars Emily Van Camp as Emily Thorne, or at least that's the name she uses, to infiltrate the Hamptons mansion of the Graysons, a rich and powerful family that ruined the life of Emily's dead father. That's why she's out for, you know, revenge. The show was created by Mike Kelly, who gave us the short-lived but acclaimed series Swingtown a couple of years ago. Revenge really knows how to move things along. At the end of every episode, a significant character is usually either dead or wounded, and the series is built around a superb TV villain, Victoria Grayson, played by Madeline Stowe. Victoria is like a cross between Cruella de Vil and Veronica Lake, sleek and sultry, cinched into tight dresses, Stowe makes for a terrific TV adversary. The show plays off the sunny smile that Emily Van Camp displayed on Brothers and Sisters and before that, Everwood. Whenever she and Stowe face off against each other, storm clouds seem to gather. Lightning fills the air. In this show, men are mostly props, either boy toys or eunuchs. It's the women that matter. Revenge is the first nighttime soap opera to really work artistically since the first season of Desperate Housewives. Revenge, if it can sustain itself, holds all the promise of great 80s soap operas like Dynasty and Knott's Landing. And as far as presenting a rich fantasy world, it's better than some new TV shows like Terra Nova and Once Upon a Time. But watch Revenge and tell me what you think. Thanks.